three smash and grabs at gun stores within a matter of weeks. This time it happened to Mount Juliet. Investigators released this clue tonight, a white four door Kia Optima officers believe belongs to a person of interest in this case. News Channel 5's Junkwell Newland is outside the store tonight. Junkwell, you spoke with an ATF official today. Is this type of crime on the rise? Carrie, yes, not only here in Middle Tennessee, but across the nation and more likely than not, the firearms that were stolen at this store, as well as other stores in Clarksville and Laverne will most likely be used to commit more crimes. Where are these firearms going? I mean, you, you don't know and, and it's terrible. Ryan Brooks is the owner of this guns and ammo store. His day started with a call from his security company. The front door was busted open on the glass. And there was definitely some firearms, their handguns that were stolen. 16 handguns were taken, and this burglary is one of three gun store thefts that have occurred since late May, when 39 firearms were taken from a store in Laverne. Earlier this week, 45 firearms were taken from a store in Clarksville. It just seems like here in the last couple of weeks, it's happened. It is happening more often. They just got to figure out why. People steal firearms for really only one purpose, and that's to commit additional crimes. ATF Special Agent Michael Knight is in Birmingham, Alabama, investigating three more gun store thefts. It's everywhere. I mean, Middle Tennessee is being hit pretty hard. Same with Birmingham. He credits the uptick in gun store burglaries to the summer season and a gun-friendly state. There are many farms legally owned in the state of Tennessee. Therefore, uh, we have a larger number of gun stores, a uh, larger number of individuals that are selling these firearms legally. But more often than not, while the criminals who commit these crimes are not connected, larger criminal groups could be funneling the stolen firearms in bigger cities. Now, there very well may be a connection of where they're ending up. That has business owners like Brooks a little on edge. You're, you're always nervous. Um, you just got to take the precautions. Now, the ATF is partnering, partnering with local law enforcement agencies as well as the National Shooting Sports Foundation to offer a $5,000 reward for any information that leads to the arrest and conviction of the people responsible here in Middle Tennessee. In Mount Juliet, I'm John Paul Newland, News Channel 5.